security cameras is sort of an uh, addendum to the formal memorandum of understanding that already exists between the school department and the police department. Um, and basically the changes that we suggested and that the police department agreed to was if you're going to access the cameras for live feed or, or you're going to review tapes for something, just let us know. You know, you're, you're not asking permission, but we would like either the superintendent or the impact of building principal to get a call saying we're going live and this is why so we know what's going on and the police said they didn't have a problem with that at all. Can you clarify, um, it would never happen that the police would just go live for no reason at all? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. And that, that was actually, even before that went in the document, that was reiterated and uh, with them and they said there was absolutely no reason for them to go live without telling us. You know, they wouldn't do it. And, and there are controls uh, as to where you can actually access the live feed uh, and, and everything would be logged so that, you know, if they did access the live feed. And they may, they may, remember there's some cameras in, in the buildings, there are other cameras outside, and if there was a problem outside and they wanted to go live on a Saturday night at 11 o'clock, you know, good for them, they'll try and call somebody and say, we want to go live say fine, but if they couldn't reach them, anybody, they would log that they tried to call and then we'd find out as soon as possible. And, and I could see that need if a, a neighbor were to call and say they heard vandals at our school buses, which has happened in the past, that they should be able to right. see what's going on. Um, but we, and I'm sure you will protect us, the right, privacy rights of students and staff not to oh, absolutely. just have somebody tapping in. Absolutely. Video. Yeah, I'm comfortable with it. I mean, quite frankly, I, I did feel, you know, um, access to the outside cameras by the police without permission would have been okay, too, but I'm, I'm comfortable with it. Okay. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, please new business, approval of a high school class trip. Uh, Mr. Doucette uh, wants to take his uh, class on a one-day trip to Newport, Rhode Island, leave in the morning back in the afternoon. And he wants to take his architecture class to study the mansions. And he is there's uh, documentation in your packet concerning that trip. It's not an overnight trip, but it is out of state. And as such, it would um, require school committee approval. Um, I've talked to the high school administration about it. They think it's a well worthwhile trip. So that we would recommend that the school committee approve it.
third line down. Oh, I see. Oh, I should say regional typo. Okay, fix the typo. Did you see that to me? Yeah. Make the time 9.55. So that time's correct. 9.55. Okay. Yeah, we'll just change on the next one. On the next one. So all those in favor as amended? Aye. 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 The next one, executive session, March 15th. First change is the time to 9.55. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Open session from April 5th at town meeting. Second to occur. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We do need, and I could probably reconstruct, we don't have any minutes for the May 1st meeting when we receive the finalist candidates, and we also had a brief discussion on the sign policy, the church field sign issue. We don't have any minutes from that. Dr. Mample was not present that night, so I guess oh, I can, do can you do this? Yeah. Okay. You okay. Well, you know, I should do something with the secretary. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that it was, great. Be it was a very short meeting. Yeah, just, I remember um, it. Yeah. Mike Gilbert was here. And Presented. And to those names into our record. Okay. And then we'll we had a those. candidate for job. Okay. Budget update. How Yes, uh, as Dr. Mendel alluded before, this is the time of year where it's actually turning on budget activity. You have to hold on to your budget balances through this point in the year because you need to have them available to you should you need them. Legal counsel, energy, unemployment compensation, it's a lot of soft uh, numbers that some years you use, some years you don't. So it's this time of year where you start to see daylight at the end of the tunnel, you know what your personal costs are going to be through the end of the year. So. Um, I'm always breathing a sigh of relief when I get the feeling that uh, we're going to end in the black, first of all. And uh, secondly, that possibly we can uh, transfer some funds to schools to kind of mitigate the cuts that they receive. You know, we forget that they are operating under a 5% budget cut this year, and level services will extend that 5% budget cut. So um, the primary message from the budget report this year is that I, I'm confident that we're going to be able to probably have that 5% budget cut. We'll do it in such a way as to allow them to do some pre-purchasing next year of photocopy paper, workbooks, some of the consumables that they use in the classroom. And, and the principal also breathe that side of relief knowing that they have that little bit of wiggle room. And uh, so we're preliminarily beginning that process. We're not going to sign any requisition to purchase orders, but we'll have it all prepared until the point where the business manager feels it's okay to go go with it. Because you're going to be 11:59 on June 30th. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's, uh, although I wish it was that, <laughs> but you have to have your invoices in hand to see date of June 30, so in order to count them against this year. So th that's what we're involved with at this point, and uh, that is the good news. Um, you know, we've, we've dealt with the other vicissitudes in the budget uh, to a point where I think we're comfortable 